Then I uh, got the uh, second deer. So two outings, um, successful um, harvest. It's a nice doe. All right, fired up. Extracting from the ravine. Dan is uh, trying to move up up here. Oh wow, look at that thing go. Glad we have an ATV. This is a very heavy deer. Dan successful hunting. After uh, taking out of the uh, deep ravine, got it up there, so he's uh, attaching it to the ATV. Boy, that dude is strong. That's a very nice, uh, good sized, mature doe that he harvested. He's attaching the sled. To the ATV, I made like uh, some sort of a trailer hitch. All right, it makes everything easy with the ATV. This is a uh, time of the year in Illinois, so my uh, son successfully harvested a mature doe, real nice doe. So the key to avoid having a gamey meat is uh, not to touch the skin and the meat at the same time. So I'm just going to show you a quick way of how we uh, take out the meat from the deer. So we're going to cut junction of the uh, white hair and the dark colored hair. Okay, again, don't touch the meat and the hair because the hair has a lot of uh, scent glands in it that makes the meat very, very gamey. Okay, cut it all the way down there and then uh, go to the back side. Right again, the junction of the dark color and the light color here. Go all the way down. All the way. Heading to the anus opening, anal opening. All right. And uh, the key here is, all right, you touch the, uh, the skin and again, avoid touching the meat. Especially that is a tarsal gland, that's the same gland. If you touch that and touch the meat, your meat is going to be very, very gamey. So just do that. Again, don't touch the meat. Let's get that out of the way. And we'll show you how to harvest it. To take out the meat, let's go to the other side. Again, don't touch the the meat. Let's cut the hair out. It's away from the meat. Throw it all the way down here. Well, after exposing that, I'm going to be changing my gloves and clean the knife. With the new gloves on, clean knife, and you can see the meat, clean. So we're just going to cut all the way to the bone. Let's cut it all the way to the bone. 
So we're gonna debone it so we don't have to take the bone with us. See the uh, separation of the the muscles. Again, do not touch the skin. Beautiful meat. Okay, all the way to the bone. Really nice clean meat. Nice. These are steaks. We're gonna trim it later. can take out the whole thing with the bones but uh, we found out it's a lot simple take out the uh, meat only and leave the bones because you're gonna debone this at home anyway nice all right the back side All the way down there. Again, make sure we don't touch that uh, skin. Oops, gonna break the, the ball is gonna about to fall. <laughs> yeah, make sure you don't cut that ball because the whole thing is gonna fall off. all bones left so this is the uh, more meat in here you can uh, cut the whole thing set for ground all right ready for the next leg after taking the leg meat or the thigh meat or the hams and steak we're gonna be getting the back strap so just a quick puncture here and all the way down make sure you stab it from inside out so you don't have any hair inside again the key is don't touch the meat and the hair at the same time so we're gonna separate that Exposing the shoulder as well as the back strap will be accessible. So again, we're gonna cut it inside. I think this is like uh, the shot went through and through the shoulder to the heart. Uh, that's a good shot then. Once you get everything exposed, we're gonna change the gloves and clean the knife. Okay, to take the back strap, it's gonna put the uh, incision right all the way to the spine, following the, the spine there. Sometimes 
see the young deer you can just grab the back strap the whole thing will come out but this is a, a mature deer so it's going to be harder to get the back strap we're going to grab that here's the back strap already put the back strap that's the shoulder Closing the back strap. The whole thing will come off after cutting it right there. Back strap, or they call it loin. In a very big deer, big buck, sometimes you might need to cut it into half so it doesn't get too heavy. Even with this, this is a mature doe. I need to cut it here. Get the bottom portion later. That's a lot of meat in here. We got the uh, shoulder meat taken out and the back strap, some of the neck muscles. You could uh, get some more neck muscles in deer that is big. The venison loin or back strap has been cleaned thoroughly and removed the silver skin. The meat has been placed in a freezer for two hours to make it firm and easier to slice uh, thinly I usually cut it across the grain it will make it easier to tenderize the meat I use a baking powder to tenderize the meat I use about uh, one tablespoon in every uh, cup of water. In this case, I use a total of two tablespoons to cover the meat completely. I mix the baking powder with water with the meat thoroughly and then uh, cover it and place it in a refrigerator for at least four hours and uh, preferably overnight. After putting out of the refrigerator, I rinse the meat thoroughly with uh, cool running water. This will remove the excess baking powder and also blood place the meat in a hot oil until uh, brown added one cube of beef bouillon this will improve the flavor It will generate a lot of water and scum and uh, remove extra water and all the scum as much as possible. Evaporate the remaining water until it's completely dry. Add additional oil as needed. Add black pepper. Add thinly sliced spicy pepper jack cheese. Mix it uh, thoroughly until the cheese has completely melted.
prepare the corn tortilla by frying it in a small amount of oil in a medium heat. Venison taco. Boy, it looks gorgeous. Smells delicious. So, um, I'm going to be putting a um, avocado ranch dressing here. Let's try it on one. Okay, maybe the other one too. All right, cilantro. Cilantro, chopped cilantro. Smells delicious. Venison uh, backstrap or loin uh, tacos. Again, the venison courtesy of Dan, the deer hunter. All right, shall we? All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mm -mm. Spicy pepper jack cheese. Venison, very tender after marinating with baking powder overnight and completely rinse it. Completely no gamey taste. I think the way we process it and clean it, it's delicious. Tastes better than beef. Mmm, wow. It's so good. Mm. What do you think, Dan? Delicious. Thanks for harvesting the deer. And I wish you all at Peaceful Woods, wherever you are, and have a great time.